Hello and welcome to today's program. I'm so excited that you are about to see for yourself God's mighty manifestations. Today you will hear from ordinary people whom God has shown that he still does miracles today. You will see that God is not dead. He is not just in the history books. He is alive and able to heal and set you free right now. So please take the time to see what God is doing and then join me later when I will tell you how you can receive your own miracle today. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's turn to 1 Peter chapter 1. Verses 18 and 19. Knowing that you were redeemed, that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Say amen. Yeah. The su agrofa ko kwa zinaria daga cikin irin zamanku na banza abin gado daga ubanninku amma da jini mai daraja kamar na dan rakon mara aibi mara cikas wato jini kristi and then a few pages on to first john chapter 1 verse 7 bari in karisa cikin litafin wasika ta hana ta fari but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin amen amen amma idan mun yi muna tafiya cikin haske kamar yadda shi ma yana cikin haske to jinin dan sa yana wanke mu daga dukkan rashin adalci Hallelujah. I, I made a vow to God many years ago that wherever I would go and preach the gospel, I would preach about the power of the blood of Jesus. And this is my theme tonight. There is power in the blood of Jesus. I want everybody to repeat this and shout it from earth to heaven. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. To wash away all the sins of all the people of all ages in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I remember one lady in India said to me, she said to me, how can you say that there is so much power in the blood of Jesus to wash away the sins of the whole world? She said to me, if your Jesus was perhaps a very good man, maybe he could wash away the sins of a hundred people, but no more. 
sai ta ce in har yesun kama yana da iko yana da kyau har ma da jinin sai yana da iko to wata kila sai iya ya wanke mutane dari ne kacal and she said maybe if your jesus was a very 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 good man maybe his blood would have the power to wash away the sins of 1000 people but no more sai ta ce to in kuma ya kara kyau ya yi kyau ya yi kyau ya yi kyau yesu din to wata kila jinin sa zai iya ya wanke mutum dubu ne kawai amma babu wani ari she said how can you make such a claim that there is power in the blood of jesus to wash away the sins of the whole world sai ta ce me yasa za kai wannan zance cewa jinin yesu zai iya ya wanke ya wanke dukkan mutanen duniya tonight i want to speak to you about the secret of the power of the blood of jesus da dare nan ina so na yi zance akan asiri da yake cikin jinin yesu this is very important because this is not just a wild statement e wannan iya da muhimmanci domin wannan ba zan cere na kawai ba and before this meeting is over all your sins will be washed away by this very precious blood of jesus amma kamun wannan taro ya kare jinin yesu zai wanke dukkan zinban ku daga wannan jini amen amen i have got two reasons in to believe that there is power in the blood of Jesus and now i come to reason number 1 ina da dalilai guda biyu wanda nake ga muku cewa akwai iko cikin jinin yesu dalili na daya reason number 1 is that the bible says it the bible is god's book and god is not a man that he should lie that's why it is true e dalili na farko shine litafi mai tsarki ya fada litafi mai sarki maganar Allah ne kuma Allah fa ba mutum bane gaskiya yake fadi say amen kuce amen say amen kuce amen the bible is the holy word of god if you agree shout amen litafi mai tsarki maganar Allah ce mai tsarki in kun yadda kuce amen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day in Germany in my own country. What are na ajamus akasana? At the end of meeting I was intercepted by a young man. Ah bayan taro sai wani sarma ya same ni. And I had my Bible in my hand. Ina da litafi na mai tsarki a hannu. He pointed to my Bible. Sai ya nuna litafi na. And he said to me, preacher. Sai ce mini mai wazi. I don't like your book. Bana son wannan litafin ka. I said why don't you like the bible? He said because your bible is antique. Say ya ce mini ai litafin ka ya su fa and I am young. Ga shi kuma ni sarma yi ne. He said your bible is 2000 years old and I am 17 years old. Ya ce litafin ka mai tsarki wajen shekara dubu biyu ne ga shi ko ni shekara 17 ne. He said I don't like to live by a book that is so old. I'm young. I want to be modern. I live today. Say ya ce ai litafin ka ya su fa bana so in rayu bisa ga maganar tsohon abu ni sarma yi ne ina so in ji dadi in wale. Hey. Hey. It was in the middle of the day. Eh a take al rana ne and the sun was shining ga kuma rana na haske i said to the young man sai na ce ma sarma yi young man sauna yi look up ka duba sama the sun is shining i ga rana na haske i want you to know ina so ka sani the sun is much older than 2000 years wannan rana ya fi shekara dubu biyu And although the sun is so old, I never heard anybody say I am cold because the sun is old. Sanan kuma don ya kai shekara dubu biyu ban tawa jin wani yana cewa ai rana don ya su fa wuri ya sanyi ina jin sanyi domin ya su fa ba. The sun is old but very hot and the Bible is old but very powerful. Rana ya su fa amma har yanzu iya da zafi litafi mai tsarki ya su fa amma iya da iko 
the bible is god's book and it is always true and it never needs to be updated it is always current the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is not just behind us, he is also in front of us. Say amen. Hey. Hey. Another man also said to me, your Bible is old. I said to him, listen, mister. If a telephone directory has got all the correct telephone numbers, I don't care how old it is. Why not? Dummy. Because every time I pick a number from the book and I dial the number, I am getting through. And I say, Mr. Every time I take the Bible and I open the Bible, any page, I am getting through to the throne of God. And it is this book that tells us that the blood of Jesus has the power to wash away the sins of all people, all sins of all people, yours and mine included, shout hallelujah. One little in Nekuma, Yagamini, Chewa, Yana, the Eco, Jenny, yes, Christian, Achki, the one canny, the one keka, the circuit in Ubana, the circuit in Ubanka, which say hallelujah. If you understood so far, wave your hand. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus is in Jalingo, shout hallelujah. These brothers had a stroke. He said he could not move his right side at all. What happened to you? What was wrong, first of all? What was wrong? Stroke. And you were paralyzed on the right side? Paralyzed on the right uh, right, right. And until today, you could not move you? Uh, today, I can feel very much relieved from the situation of the sickness I'm facing. Can you move your arm? Amen! I can move my hand up. You could not do that before? I cannot do that before. Is Jesus wonderful? Is Jesus wonderful? Yes, Hallelujah. Jesus heals from stroke. Yes, I work at the city. No more stroke. No more stroke. No more stroke. No more stroke. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you have healed this brother. Thank you that you have restored his movements. I pray that he may follow you every day of his life. I bless him. In the wonderful name of Jesus. I, hear, I understand you suffered from polio. Yes, sir. I suffered from polio for 34 years. Last year, I broke my leg. And the, it was so miraculous when the x-ray came out. When I was told a man of God was coming here, I didn't want to believe it. I was pushed from here. 
in my mind, I never thought I was going to walk an inch from where I ever I stand. I cannot walk a kilometer. I cannot walk 20 feet where I am without the calipers. But I thank God from there I can now walk to this place without the calipers. And the Lord is just telling me that he has, he has more and more blessings for me. Yes. And I receive the healing in Jesus. Yes. And no, no power on earth from the devil can shake me. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. This is the victory of faith. This is the victory of faith. It is true. She is still a bit shaky. She is still a bit shaky. But did you hear what she said? She couldn't walk one inch until she came here. And now she is walking. She is walking. She is walking. She is walking. And she will become stronger. And stronger. And stronger. In Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that you will complete this healing. And that she will run and that she will live a normal life and that you will bless her family in Jesus name what was wrong with your brother he was blind when he was two years old but now he stayed for 27 years now but when he was blind he was two years but now he's 27 years old he's 25 years blind totally blind but now tonight something has changed can you see me yes sir i'm seeing you am i a tall man am i a small man you are a tall man what kind of a man am I? What are you doing, Mutimeni? Surawani. The white man. Oh, oh. What is this? What a man. Yari ke fari ni ka anu. Ah, you have all the white clothes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Twenty-five years blind, and now he sees. Jesus is. Same today. Yes, so, hallelujah. hallelujah! Who has healed you, Mister? Why are you The Lord, the Lord God has healed me. Tell, give him the name of the one who healed him. Who has healed you? Why are you Yes. Yes, so. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, I bless this man. I pray that he may have found salvation with his healing. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. What was wrong with your mother? Uh, she was blind. She was taken to zinc and they walked on her eye. Yes, you couldn't see with the eyeglass. But uh, when we heard about you, we brought her yesterday. And uh, when she received prayer, her eyes now are open. She can see. Mama, can you see me? Mama, can I get I'm seeing you. What can you see this? You are said with a red necktie. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come and follow me. Kibini. Catch me. He did not have Kibini Kikamani. Catch me. Kibini Kikamasi. Kikamasi. We are doing a Kikamasi. Hallelujah! I tell you, Jesus is doing my powerful miracles. I bless you in the name now of Jesus. Jesus. And I bless the daughter in now the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go in peace. Your faith is made to oh, she, was, she was blind completely. Did you bring her? 
Uh, she, she has been blind for a year and I went home and brought her. She has been booked for operation or to be on the 21st of this month. But when I brought her and I heard the man of God is coming, so I brought her here. Now she said she is healed. Mama, no can, more operation. Can you see me? Can I get in the zoo? She said she's seen you. If you can see me, touch my hand. My hand. Touch my hand. Touch my hand. Touch it. Touch it. <laughs> Pull my ear. Mama, pull my ear. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for this powerful miracle. The days of her darkness are come. I bless her in Jesus' name. And I bless you in Jesus' name. And I bless your families in Jesus' name. Welcome back. The people we introduce to you today are ordinary people. People like me and people like you. And as you saw, God touched their lives. The wonderful news is that God also wants to bless you, heal you, and show you his mighty manifestations this very moment. You know, the most amazing miracle is that of God's forgiveness. In the Bible, it says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. This means that none of us on our own are able to make it to heaven. No matter what we do on earth to try and earn our way to heaven, there is no other way than to ask God to forgive our sinful ways. God is merciful and just. God loves you. He loves you unconditionally. That's why he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for us. So if you want that guarantee of knowing your past is forgiven, and that you have a place in heaven with him forever, then just pray this simple prayer with me right now. Let's call on the name of Jesus this very moment. Pray with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, yes, I am a sinner, but I heard that you came to seek and to save sinners, of whom I am one. Come now into my heart and life. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your redeeming blood and break every chain of bondage. I now put my trust alone in your name. I believe with my heart what I speak with my mouth. Jesus Christ is now my Savior. He has received me as his child. I belong to him forever. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. If you just prayed that prayer of salvation with me, we at Christ for All Nations want to encourage you by sending you a booklet that helps you understand what we have just prayed. It has been translated into many languages. And if you write to the address on the screen, we would be 
honored to send you a copy free of charge. I cannot close this program before I pray with those who are sick and in desperate need of God's healing touch. The Lord is able to heal you right now, wherever you are. Just open your heart, open your spirit for the Holy Spirit and the hand of Jesus will reach across to touch you and deliver you. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of infirmity and command it to depart. I pray for every sickness to be healed. Lord, you have said, by my stripes, you are healed. And I thank you, Lord, that you paid the price for the healing of my dear friend this very moment. Touch them this moment and heal them this moment. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now grab it by faith. Thank the Lord for your healing. Do something you have not been able to do and you will find out that Jesus has done a great wonder in your life. Well, thank you for watching the program. And I pray that God will bless you and keep you and that you will experience his mighty manifestations in your life. God bless you.